All right. Now that we're using Redux to store our state globally, um, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to create this loading right here, but allow it to be in the global state. So that's what I'm going to work on. Here to start off, I'm going to have to create some folders inside our Redux right over here. All right, so there's going to be three folders. So the first one is going to be for constants. The second one is for reducers. And then the th final one is actions. All right. So the next step is creating uh, some constants for uh, loading for our loading state and that I will do here within the constants folder I'm going to create a file called loading constants .js. all right and within here there are going to be two constants that we're going to have uh, well, loading is essentially starting loading and stopping loading. So no different than when we were here in the admin category and uh, the other components right over here, where we would start like an HT, we would make an API HTTP request to the server, which could take some time. So at that point, we started the loading process. And then once we got a response from the server, we set the loading to false. So right here, this use state. This is the component. This is at the component state level. So be again, because we're using Redux, Redux it makes these properties available to us globally, so we can uh, grab them directly from any component and making it much easier. So once we get this set up, uh, essentially at some point, uh, we'll, we're going to uh, have this loading globally redux and then we'll be able to uh, remove this entirely because we're not going to be using this at the component state so to get started there's going to uh, we're going to have two we're going to create export two uh, variables the first one is going to be called start start loading and that's going to be the string value start loading and I'm gonna copy this here and below I'm gonna paste that and just change the second one to stop loading just like so so we got start loading and stop loading that's all we need all right so I'm gonna save that and let's see all right so create the cons the loading constants all right so the next step is creating a reducer for loading okay so I'm gonna with uh, for uh, for the reducers folder. I'm gonna create a file called loading uh, loading reducers. Okay, and to start off, we're gonna have to import those three or those two constants that we created. Uh, so there was. Actually, let me do it like this. So import from, and then we have to go, let's see, back one directory into constants and then loading constants, all right? And then we're gonna pluck off th those two constants, start loading and stop loading. Okay, so the next step is when we create a reducer, it, we have to have an initial state, so that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna have an initial st an initial state, and that's gonna be an object. And all we need here is a property called loading. All right, so this property will be the same name as the one we have at the component state level here, which is loading. All right, and initially we're going to set it to false. All right, the next step is to start creating our reducer function. So this is going to be called 
loading redu oops, loading reducer and this takes two arguments all right the first argument is going to be the the state which is going to be equal to the initial state that we created above and then the second argument is going to be the action all right and the reducer takes a switch statement and we're going to switch on on the action type so the first case we're going to test on check for is if the for the case of start loading if it's start loading then we're going to return we're going to return loading equals true because once we start loading well when it when it's change it to true and then the last one is stop loading and as you can probably already guess that's going to be loading to false all right and then of course switch statements they always have the default and the default for this is going to be just return whatever the state is and make sure you export this loading reducer all right so that should be it for that now that we have the loading reducer let's see create loading reducers okay and then the final step is adding the reducer to the store all right so I'm gonna go to the store all right it's inside a redux folder right here store.js all right remember when we created the store we have this combined reducers well this is exactly what we want to have our newly created reducer but before we do that we have to import that so I'm gonna bring in loading reducer from let's see we got to in the current directory we got to go to reducers and then loading reducers all right so within this loading reducers we're going to call this global state property now it's going to be called loading i want to make sure that it's the same name um, as the one we we gave in the component state level and then the value for that is going to be coming from the loading reducer all right so that is it for that uh for the loading reducer um so i will continue on to the next video and create some more uh reducers and uh for properties that we currently have at the component state level all right see you then